Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today's video is brought to you by Liz. And we're going to be going over 2004's All Else Failed, This Never Happened, Vinyl, for the first time ever, thanks to Translation Lost Records. Now... This came out during one of my favorite summers of my entire life, 2004. And you had Mastodon's Leviathan. You had All Else Failed, This Never Happened. And you had Dillinger Escape Plan's Miss Machine. But wait, there's no fucking death metal. Well, chill. Vital Remains, Dechristianized, came out the year before, and really, to me, kind of just, like, got me really, really back into death metal. But at the time, I was going through, like, listened to a lot of grief, um, I Hate God, early, like, Melvin stuff, and, uh, Neurosis, Isis, uh, stuff like that, more than anything else, and uh, also a lot of black metal, and incantation, like always, and repulsion, napalm death, kind of, you know, the usual carcass, but All Else Failed was the second hardcore band I ever saw in a venue that wasn't a real venue. In 1999, I saw them with the Bad Luck 13 Riot Extravaganza at Havertown VFW. Show got shut down during Bad Luck's third song. I had this on video somewhere. On a, It's on a high eight tape. It's not even on digital 8 or, like, mini DV. But, um, it was back, uh, All Else Failed now has two vocalists again, like, full-time whenever they play live. But back during This Never Happened, Luke just did most of the vocals and then was backed up. But All Else Failed, to me... And I'm going to take a quote from a little documentary they had called 19 Years. They were always, like, they started in 1995. And no one sounded like them in 1995. They were ahead of the curve. And have always been a little bit ahead of the curve before everyone else. Like, because I remember I prefer, and I still do, but don't get me wrong, Dillinger Escape Plans, this machine is amazing, and both of these records have Chris Penny on drums, but Chris does drums on tracks 1 to 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12, tracks 5, 7, 9, 11, and 13 by Joe Brown. This was recorded April 2003 and February 2004 at Clay Creek Studios in Newark, Delaware. Like, Chris Penny, he drums, I think, now at Coheed and Cambria. So he, he's making some loot. But, like, I remember a long time ago, like, this is, I think it, this came out 17 or 18 years ago. Because I'm reading the back. Because this reissue is from 2021. And uh, the band thanks uh, Rich Hall, Mike Barone for getting us in touch with Translation Lost, etc., etc. But uh, I'm trying to find the year. Uh, I mean, uh, I'm trying to do the math in my head, but I suck at math. But 2004 was when this bad boy dropped. And it's such a great blend of like dead guy quicksand and all else failed because all else failed sounds like all else failed 
Like, I... Like, you have no idea. The lyrics? Fucking... Oh, my God. You have no idea. Yep. 17 years since this record was first released. First time on vinyl right here. And we're going to work our way backwards here. Now, I do not have the sophomore full length. It did not get a vinyl reissue. I'm not sure why. But... Before the Decibel uh, Metal and Beer Fest, which I'm very sad I missed because All Else Failed played it. And they're one of those bands I really try not to miss. Like, I regret not going to any of the This Is Hardcores they played. But back in the day, I didn't miss an All Else Failed show. Because it was always in fucking sane. Like, they put every other band in the scene, in my opinion, to shame, musically. Live, it's just, it, it, it's like a giant sing-along. And it's just, it gives you goosebumps, especially if you know the lyrics. Like, this band means a lot to me on a personal level. A historic level, just like I said, it was the second band I ever saw, you know, outside of a real venue when it came to hardcore. But is All Else Failed hardcore? I would consider this metallic hardcore. The early stuff, especially the first record from 1997, it's like kind of turmoil. But again, it doesn't sound 100% like Turmoil. It has its own sound to it. And like, you know, it also has that kind of like quicksand vibe at times, like with some mellow songs. Even a little touch of like emo. Some people will consider this metalcore. And the, the thing is, like, this is kind of, you know, the blueprint for a lot of those lame-ass fucking bands that were around during this time period. Because. Like. You hear that like. Dillinger like, style shit. They were doing this. All like around the same time. This whole part right here. This build up. Oh, good. The vinyl sounds amazing. Like, I'm so impressed with the Brad Boatwright remaster. Well, remix. Yeah, Brad Boatwright, Audio Siege. This is no joke. If you don't, like, for real, All Else Failed should, like, have been one of the biggest bands in the planet. Like, on their first tour, if I remember correctly, was supposed to be with the Dillinger Escape Plan. And I think it lasted a few dates and they had to drop off or something. I kind of forget the story. But if you want to catch All Else Failed, you kind of have to go to Philadelphia. Whenever you see that this band is playing a show, go. Because you will not regret it. Even if you don't like this type of music, you will appreciate the live set. You will appreciate the energy. And if you don't, you're full of fucking shit. I don't care. For real. You are. You're full of shit. Because you'll be like this bit like it might not be your cup of tea musically, but you cannot deny how 
powerful all else failed our live and also watch out because steve is very dangerous with his base i don't want to say reckless just dangerous like especially when they would play the first unitarian i i just knew like i got moon soldered on by luke one time i just kind of learned like okay don't stand close to the stage because when they like so, some like sometimes steve would look like he was fight well he kind of would be fighting his base like there'd be like a malfunction and he would just be so pissed off but just Throw it on the fucking ground. Break the head off. I love this. This whole sample right here. Like when they play this live. It gets insane. And I, every time I hear it. Still to this day. I'm just like. It gives me goosebumps. Because I apologize. I apologize. Fuck yes. And my self thrown pity parties. Does that story sound familiar? Now, as usual, translation lost kills it with the. Vinyl variants. I think this is the same color as my Swamp Beast LP, but still, it looks great. But all I care about is how it sounds. These aren't available on black, but every color is still available, which boggles my mind. And again, like, do not sleep on All Else Failed. For real. Like, I, I know... I have turned a few people on to this band that were just like, I've never heard of this band before. Thank you. Like, it just, you sent this to me just at, like, the perfect time, like, when I needed it in my life. And that just is one of the reasons it was so important for me to get these LPs for the channel. And I just, I have to thank Liz so much for just going out of her way and making sure these got here and got here so fast. Now, everything about this record, like I said, like there's songs on here that are straight up like acoustic, very chill. But then get like loud as fuck and just it's great like it's serious it's so well written the production is so good and rest in power because uh, i'm pretty sure the producer passed away um yeah nick rotundo rest in power Many of the best times of our lives were spent at Clay Creek making records, including this one. You are missed. And, you know, like, when you read these lyrics, I really don't want to spoil this record for some of you. I want some of you to sit down and really take this in. Because it's something special. Like, you have Dave Davies, Luke Muir. I'm sorry, Luke, if I mispronounced your last name. Like, I remember when Luke walked the Appalachian Trail, and I hadn't seen him in, like, a year. I don't think Luke even remembers me. It's been a very long time, because, uh, like, they took a little hiatus. If I remember, it was, like, 2006, because my old bass player got knocked down a flight of stairs at the show and got, like, like, he had a concussion, and I remember, like, I was like, dude, like, like, he didn't know where he was, and, like, he was, like, really out of it, and I just remember, like, I've had, until I started wearing a helmet riding my bike, I, I, I know what a concussion is, I know the symptoms of it, and I remember I was like, yo, man, like, I don't think you should be drinking anymore, I don't think you should, like, for real, like, you got like, it's, like, 
you gotta chill. So, we picked them up, like, and, like, drove them back to a friend's house, and, <laughs> yeah, I just remember we, um, smoked a blunt, and afterwards, I was, uh, like, he, I, I kept seeing him, like, kind of, like, falling asleep, on, and I would just be like, yo, like, yo, you're, like, you all right? And he was fine, but, like, he, like, couldn't really remember certain things from the show, and it was just, I remember just being like, man, like, that was, like, fuck, but the fact that All Else Failed to me, and, I mean, like, they played the Decibel Metal and Beer Fest, opening them up to an entire new fan base, and I think that's awesome of Decibel Magazine, and I think it's awesome that, like, because All Else Fails kind of separated across America at the moment. You have half of, like, well, most of the band in the Philadelphia area, and I think Luke now lives in somewhere on the West Coast. But, like, seeing footage of them play, like, Creep Records and stuff like that, like, since my injury, I can never fully immerse myself in an All Else Fail performance again, but I can sing along and enjoy myself that way, and that's all that really matters to me. Like, every song on here, in my opinion, is a classic. Like, I really, really love, like, Wishful Thinking, Waterlogged, all good things. At 27 is, like, probably one of the heaviest hitting songs, personally, for myself, off this record. Like, it, it, it's really, you know, heavy-duty shit, lyrically. And... Like, especially All Good Things, to me, it's one of the most perfect songs in their discography. It's just really short, to the point, and, like, if you've ever been through some shit like this, you, you kind of feel it. Especially, like, I'm not in my 20s anymore. All Good Things. Leaving so soon, you just got here, our lives on hold, you just got here and we're only getting older. Are you hiding from something? Are you running from someone? Is it me? That, I, I, it just really hits home. And like, departing flights, but like, at 27, there's these one lyrics right here. Please reconsider, please rearrange your busy schedule of wasted time and try to fix the mess you've made. It's not too late to turn this around. Another closing door has locked you in a midlife crisis at 27. Don't worry, things will only move up from here. Rock bottom. It can only get better. It's not too late. Like, it's, you have no idea unless you've heard these songs how fun they are. I love Departing Flights. Like, back in the AIM days, like, definitely, you know, would use this. Well, actually, MySpace, I would say, I would, like, put it up, I think, as, like, a away message or some shit I, I i just remember i used to use the lyrics from departing flights and um again i kind of want you folks to check this out on your own because like i'm very biased about this i think it's very <clears throat> important <clears throat> excuse me it's just it's an important record in Hardcore history, I don't, see, like, I don't want to say metal, but it kind of, like, it, it is. Like, if you're a fan of, like, Mist Machine, Error, Dillinger, Escape Plan, you're going to love this. 
Like, absolutely, but it's a lot more digestible. It's not all over the place. Like, everything, like, as much as, like, there's parts where it's, like, straight, like, I mean, like I said, they have Chris Penny on drums. Like, it's ridiculously technical, but it works. It's not overdone. And the way everything flows together is just beautiful. And it works. Like, picking these songs and the order of them alone is just a mighty task. And This Never Happened is one of my favorite records from... I'm gonna consider it being the tail end of being a teenager. Like, being 19 and, like, getting my first girlfriend and stuff like that. This just really spoke to me and stuff. And now, as I'm older, <laughs> I've still only had one real girlfriend. This is, yeah, it really, you know, is something I can personally relate to. I don't have time to waste anymore. And one of my other favorite records, like I said, it didn't get reissued, but I think maybe somebody else like, put out a vinyl version of it, and it's still available, but, like, I would love, like, I used to have everything on CD, but it got stolen, I would love to listen to, because, like, as soon as you folks, like, listen to Route 1, you're gonna be like, oh my god, this band is incredible, and when it comes to A Most Bitter Season, this is 1997, and it is so ahead of its time, it's just, it, it's ridiculous. Like, it really is. It's ridiculous how ahead of its time this is. Very convergy artwork. This screams 90s hardcore. And I love it. Because um, they were playing, like, a lot of stuff off this record the first time I saw them. And a most bitter season, I... I can't believe this got a vinyl reissue. Because I, I think this originally got a vinyl press when it first came out. But I definitely was not, you know, into uh, records back in high school. Just because, like, I, I, I was you know, always going to skate parks and stuff, and going in the car, so, like, making mix CDs and shit like that, it was important, and, like, having CD binders and shit like that, but, like, a most bitter season from All Else Failed, like, as soon as you hear Burster, it's just, like, wow, like, this band is gnarly, and I'm, I'm not going over, this is gonna have its own separate video, I want to do a whole, like, live stream about All Else Failed. I would love to get Luke or Steve or somebody else from the band involved. But, you know, whatever. If I can't do that, I just... It's just so good. Like 1997 and uh, the reissue 2022, also recorded by Nick Rotundo, rest in peace. Remastered by Brad Boatwright, Audio Siege. Because this sounds great, remastered. The lyrics, incredible. Because the way they used to use two vocalists, again, like, I, I never saw a band do that. And, like, have it work the way they did. Like, they would, like, fight each other. <laughs> it was awesome. But, like, I, I, I love All Else Fail. Like, I'm just putting this on the turntable. But, real quick, I know it's not for the record I went over. This never happened. But just check this out real quick. I just want you to hear the beginning of Burster. Just because I, I think it's like just so sick the way that they just make this work with two vocalists. 
because it was Luke and uh, Dave Sesso. Like, I, I, I just love how this all fits. Again, 1997. What were you doing? Yeah. Like, what the fuck? So ahead of its time. Only a dog can hear. Only a dog like you. So good. Like, for real. Like, you know, again, I'm biased about it because this band, like I said, means a lot to me on a personal level. So, when it comes to All Else Failed, I feel like this is a great starting point. But, you can kind of start anywhere in their discography and find something you're going to like and not have every song sound the same. Like, that's another big difference between the Dillinger Escape Plan. Like, sometimes I remember being like, wait, didn't I hear this song already? But like this, like, you know, they add like some of those like chill, like kind of slint, Quick time, uh, quick sand, slant, like they add those elements in and it works so beautifully. Like, I remember selling Luke a copy of Mastodon Leviathan at a show at the First Unitarian Church. I remember he came up and bought like the, the vinyl version. And I just remember saying, like, oh, you're gonna, you're gonna like this because, you know, at the time, it like, that record, when that first came out, it was such a fucking beast. And I know, who the fuck Mastodon, bunch of rock stars. Like, dude, they used to be construction workers that really busted their ass to get where they are right now. And, yeah, like, I, on their first tour with Slayer, they didn't need to get me backstage passes, but they did. And, like, yeah. But anyways, when it comes to All Else Failed, one of my personal favorite Philadelphia bands, one of my personal favorite bands ever, and yeah, they're not death metal. I know some of you, all you listen to is death metal. Well, no, you're dead ass wrong. Because <laughs> if you actually know me, you know that's like so far from the truth, like. I know I got that because I do love death metal more than anything else, but like a lot of the bands that I really, really, really love, they're re they're just they're fucking hard to get copies of physically. Like money doesn't grow on trees, and like just the fact that these got reissued is amazing. So I suggest like. I don't know how, but 98% of the variants are still available for both reissues on vinyl. If you want the CDs, uh, it was really easy to find them for Liz, actually. I just, like, typed in All Else Failed CDs, and I found a U.S. distro. And, yeah, they had shirts and a bunch of other stuff, too. So, um, maybe I'll put that link in the video description, but... Thank you, Liz, for making this video possible. I hope some of you check out and actually give it a chance. And I'm sorry, but I, at the moment, if a comment just says, like, I was listening to Regurgitate, like, that's cool, but, like, what does it have to do with all else failed? Like, trust, like I don't like that's fine. If you like, but like, what does that have to do with the video at hand? You know, like I don't know. I was reading some comments like, 
when I get a chance, I'll go over the new Mulder. Like, I still have to go over Epitaph 2. There's a lot of stuff I still have to go over, but, like, to me, this was a lot more important. And if you're like, whoa, what? It's not death metal. <laughs> not, like I said, if I had things 100% my way, this would be a very hybrid, weird channel. <laughs> it, like, it, but I like the way it is. Like, I like being able to go over black metal, hardcore, you know, grind, gore grind, especially because I love gore grind. I think I might like gore grind just as much as I like death metal. Like, if not, like, it's kind of, like, equal and, like, brutal death metal. Like, I've been on a brutal death metal kick lately. But now, I've just been listening to All Else Failed and, like, uh, my Gorilla Biscuits, uh, <laughs> my Gorilla Biscuits 7-inch. Uh, I've just been listening to a lot of, like, kind of hardcore. And especially, when it comes to modern hardcore, I love the style record, How Flowers Grow, it's just so good. There's a lot of really good modern hardcore bands right now. Soul Glow from Philly also, like, wow. So good. Like, when I watched some of their footage, I was just, like, blown away. I was like, this band is really fucking cool. Like, I just liked what the vibe they were putting out because it didn't really sound like anyone else. I mean, it's not too often you hear a band, like, kind of sound like Bad Brains, and it, it's really good. And it was just one of those things, I didn't, like, I just had seen their name around a lot, and then I finally checked it out, it was like Jarhead, Jarhead Fertilizer. Like, I kept hearing about this band, but I never really checked it out. And then I saw them live, and I was like, oh my like, what? This is no, this is so good. But with All Else Failed, like, yeah, I found out about them, seeing them live. Like, I even had a sticker on my bike back then, like, and I just, I never stopped listening. And to this day, you know, like, 1999 to now, I'm still a fucking fan. It's just now it means a lot more to me than it did when I was a kid. Because back then it was like, you know, I still was a little shy about like moshing. Like, because it would get kind of crazy. And, you know, like I was like, oh man, like that's a little too rough for me. Like, but then I eventually, like, I remember, I forget what show it was at though, but like my friend was like, yo, like, come, like, come on. Like, let's, like, let's fucking go. I think it might have been shut down. It was like a Father's Day show. Yeah, it was. It was fuck. Yeah, it was shut down at Ignite. Cause that was the first. Yeah, that was the first time. It was like a tornado, like almost. But I remember like my my friend at the time. He was like, "Yo, like, come on out on the dance floor." And I'm like, "Ah, like I don't know." But then, yeah, I just you know, I I I probably looked like an asshole, but like. Yeah, it was fun. Like, I had so much fun at that show. But anyways, when it comes to All Else Failed and this never happens, I personally, and I'll stand by this statement. That's, this is a big one, too. That's my favorite album of 2004. Like, I remember Deicide put out uh, Scars of the Crucifix. It was okay. It was a Deicide record. You know, like yeah, it was it was Deicide. Um, and like when Obituary came back, I just was kind of like, you know, the riffs are cool on a uh, Frozen in Time. Yeah, Frozen in Time. And uh, I was like, oh, like this, this is, you know, it's okay. It's not what I was expecting, but it, it was good for what it was. But All Else Failed just never stopped being special and never stopped being All Else Failed. Like, 
They might have taken some hiatuses due to real life shit. And, you know, they've been through some real life shit. Like, and I have nothing but respect for every individual in the band. And, you know, like I said, to me, that music speaks fucking volumes. So, I know it's not going to be for everyone watching this channel, but give it a chance. That's all I ask. And thank you again, Liz. And thank you, Maniacs, for watching, especially if you made it through 35 minutes of me talking nonsense. But it's not nonsense, because I really want to you folks to check out All Else Fails because I know some of you are going to become fans or you might already be fans and not know that I was a fan and Emma a fan so you know hails the Luke and company in All Else Fails and come back to Philly soon and yeah Translation Lost has these LPs available if I can find the CD link again, I'll put it in the video description, but I'll put the Bandcamp link also. Check that shit out for real, and give it a real chance. If it's not for you, it's not for you. But go into it with an open mind, and read the lyrics. Like, open up a side window, and read along with the lyrics, and you'll understand why this band is so special and as always thanks for watching you fucking roll to me that's a 10 out of 10 classic and it's like so underrated because it's pretty much a dead guy record meets like i said quicksand and it just works so well and it's something you wouldn't think would work but it does and same with, like, like, there's parts where it's, like, that sounds like turmoil. And then it goes into, like, a part that sounds like fucking Slint Spider-Land. It's, like, what? Like, how, like, whoever wrote that, first off, like, yeah, but it's just great. Check it out. Enjoy. Hails. Hails.